Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Riddick TV, and today I'm going to be presenting y'all with my ranged jutsu tier list. If y'all haven't checked out my attack one, go check that one out after this video. But before we go ahead and hop into the video guys, I want to give a general disclaimer that this is all in my own opinion, and it's all going to be based around a combat battle. And without any further ado guys, let's hop straight into the video. Before we go ahead and put the jutsus in the tier list, I just want to explain what the tier list is going to be about. So as you can see here, we got D is going to be the lowest rank and S is going to be the best. The in-betweens are really good jutsus, but obviously it's going to be C is going to be the lowest one, A is going to be the highest. So let's hop straight into the D tier list. So for the first one guys, we're going to go with the multiple striking shadow snake. Now this one is not very good, it doesn't have good range, it doesn't do a lot of damage, so it's going to be in the D tier. Next is going to be the Summoning Salamander, now this one isn't all that great as well. It's kind of used more for like a base battle or a flag battle, but if we're talking in a combat sense, Summoning Salamander is not the greatest jutsu for the range. And the last one is going to be the Firestyle Phoenix Flower Jutsu. Now. This one is just not the best fire style out there, and there is way, way better ones, so that's why it's gonna be in the D tier. Moving up to our C tier, we got the Angelic Advent. Now, this one is not very used in combat, but if you know how to use it correctly, it could go up to a B tier. But this is mostly just meant for like a flag battle or a base battle. You won't ever see this in a combat battle. So that's why it's at the C tier. Next is the Hidden Jutsu A Thousand Needles of Death. Now this one is all right. It could be better, but honestly, it just doesn't do the job. It's like a trap and the needles come down, but half the time they can avoid it. So therefore it's gonna be at the C tier. Next is the Shigigami Dance Shield. Now this isn't very good at all. It's very slow but it is good for one purpose and that's kind of trapping your enemy inside the paper and it allows you to start your combos but it's very very low tier and that's why i'm going to say it's in a c next is the water style severing wave now this one is all right however though there is no tracking and you have to hit your enemies perfectly for it to work and it does do a lot of damage it does a lot of knockback too but Overall, I just feel like this is a C tier jutsu. Next is the C2 dragon. Now this one, if we're talking in a combat battle, is not very good. However though, if you are going to be playing like a flag, like a flag battle or a base battle, C2 dragon is really good because it will protect those points. And lastly for our C tier is going to be the fire style flame bombs. Now this one is not very good. It's That's why it's like a default. It's a C tier because there is some more fire styles out there that are way better and more effective and i'll be covering that later on moving up to our b tier we have the wind style great breach now this one's all right it does go through walls and it does a little bit of damage and not back however though i just feel like it's not all that great and there's better jutsus that you could use to get the job done in the combat battle so that's why it's going to be at a b next is the eye style icicle swallow now this one could be an A tier, depending on how you use it, but essentially what it does is it shoots out six icicles and if it hits your opponent and it stuns them and it allows you to do some combos and a lot of damage. It could be up in the A tier, but I'm just going to keep it right here at the B tier. Next is the Fire Style Hiding in Ash Jutsu. Now this one is all right as well. However though, it does no damage. Its only real purpose is to get out of like a sticky, like a sticky situation and you need to reset your ninjutsu cooldown times. And that's what Hiding in Ash Jutsu does. But in a combat battle, essentially, it's not very good because you wanna be playing that supportive role instead of being super, super aggressive. Next, we have both Super Beast Scrolls, Lion and Bird. Now, what Lion does is it will shoot like two lions at you and it does a little bit of damage. And it's pretty good. It's all right. It does have a little bit of range. 
and that's why it's at the B tier. And with the bird, what it does, it flies at him, and it, you get like five or six hits off of it, and it also blinds your enemy, which can be confusing for a little bit, but the range isn't that good, so that's why it's just going to be at the B tier. Next, we have Amaterasu. Now, Amaterasu could be at an A, but I'm going to keep it at B simply because once I, whenever you use Amaterasu, you have it's no going back. The Amaterasu will sit there, and even if it doesn't hit the enemy, it will just sit there and just burn. And that's why it's at a B, because it has no tracking, and it's honestly a hit or miss sometimes. And our last one is going to be the Firestyle Phoenix Flame Scarlet Claw. Now, this one could be an A, but I'm gonna, be at the, I'm gonna keep it at the B for my own personal reasons, because I just don't really like this one. However, though, it could be an A because it is a fire style and it is pretty effective, but I just believe it's at the B tier. Moving on to our A tier, we have the Lightning Shuriken Net. Now, this is a good combo starter, You can, and it has a ton of range, so you can hit your enemy with no problem, even if they're like kind of like halfway across the map, because it does have a super long range. And it's a good combo starter, so that's why it's at the A tier. Next is the Inferno Style Flame Control. Flame control is super good. It does have tracking and it works just like flame lightning, which I'm going to cover it in a little bit. But what it does it is black flames and it just engulfs them and it'll burn them over time. And I kind of like to use this one as a combo finisher because if they're low, then most of the time they're going to die. Even if you don't even have to hit them, they're just going to die over time. Next is the water style water dragon jutsu. Now this one does go through walls and it's used by many people, however though I just don't feel like it's at the S tier because it doesn't do all that much damage. But it is a good thing if you're trying to like get away from an enemy. I really like that jutsu for that reason, so that's why it's going to be at the A tier. And our last one is going to be the deadening clay twin birds. Now the, this one could be lower but I want to keep it at A because one it has a super long range and great tracking. and it's just overall a pretty good jutsu if you have something to back it up with so that's why it's going to be at the a tier and lastly but not leastly guys it is going to be the s tier and this is going to be the remaining ones so the first one's going to be heavenly hand power now what that does is it will transport you to where the enemy once was so you'll just swap places it's a good jutsu if you learn how to use it because if you have a paralysis seal and you put it down in the heavenly hand power they spawn right into the paralysis seal and you can follow up with a majestic destroyer flame a fireball jutsu whatever you want to use that you feel comfortable with next is going to be the majestic destroyer flame now this is a great jutsu it does a lot of damage and it's used by many 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 range players just because it does a lot of damage and it has a good amount of range. So that's why it's at the S tier. Next is just the normal fireball jutsu. Now this one's really good because it does do a quite a little bit of damage and it does have good range. And it's, I would say it's a combo starter because if you get hit by it, you get knocked back and you can just come at them and do whatever you want. So that's why it's going to be at the S tier. Next we have the both Chidori's, the Onyx Chidori and the Chidori because these are fast paced jutsu and if you do it correctly, you can honestly just own people. And plus it is good for getting away and if, let's just say you're playing like a, flag, like a flag battle, you can dash almost like halfway across the map with it and it's, it's really useful. Last but not least is the Inferno style Flame Lightning now. I want to touch up on this because this is probably one of the most toxic jutsus ever. However though, if you pair it up correctly and you use it correctly, it's a great, great jutsu. So what flame lightning can do is what we call as pitfallers. So if they use flame lightning over a pit and they hit you and you can't do anything about it, you just fall down into the pit, you have just witnessed a pit falling. And it's really frustrating. And honestly, I can predict the game dying because of this jutsu because it's really annoying and for the new players, they they just get really frustrated and you just never see them ever on again because of it, because it's so bad. So as a community guys, we can always change that up, we can use it correctly, and that is why it is at the S tier. With all that being said guys, I really hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to give this video a like, you subscribe, and you leave a comment down below of what you would change to this tier list.
And without any further ado, guys, this is Riddick TV, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.